news returning and online learning. Hi, this is Rucha, a radio producer at Voroni, and this is Voroni's weekly wrap up for week one. Week one has been and gone with hybrid learning still continuing. Some students have expressed their disappointment over online classes, while others are frustrated over this hybrid system of teaching. These efforts, though, are being made for the students who are unable to return to the campus in 2021. Despite this, online learning is here to stay for a foreseeable future as ANU continues to recover from the pandemic. Following on to the financial hardships last year, the ANU revealed that there will be staff cuts to its library with a loss of 17 permanent staff members. During much of 2020, the ANU libraries continued to operate at reduced uh, opening hours and fewer staff. These changes, however, appear to be permanent to aid ANU's financial recovery. In a statement, the ANU state that these changes better meet the needs of the students considering the COVID-19 restrictions. After a week without news, the Australian government and Facebook strike a deal to return news to Australian feeds. Deal requires small changes from, from the government's proposed legislation and Facebook revealed that it will retain the power to remove news sites from its feed again. Despite this, individual news sites continue to strike deals with Facebook and Google um, in response to the uh, new legislation. And lastly, we finally have, uh, finally have some train news yet again. The ACT government announced a 1.7 km extension to the light rail earlier this month, which would take line from the city across the lake to the Parliament Triangle. The work on the project is supposed to begin at the beginning of the next financial year and take two years to complete, with 2.1 million being fronted by the ACT government to begin the early work design. So that's all for this week. Hope you enjoy your coming weeks. Awesome!